I, until uh, next year and beyond, this is probably the best receiver duo or trio that you'll, you've ever faced. Uh, what kind of challenges do they present when you're watching them on tape? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, you know, they're, they're vertical threats, so um, you really got to be good with your hands and feet um, at the line and stuff. Um, but I think, you know, the biggest thing is just uh, handling your responsibility and, and um, playing smart football um, because, you know, the thing about Ohio State is they kill you with the big play. So um, if, we, if we make them earn it um, and, and, you know, make them kind of drive down the field, um, that's that's a win in our book. So I think just eliminating the big plays and, and um, forcing them to kind of have to work for their yardage. How challenging is that going to be? Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see on Saturday. Um, you know, they're big. They're always athletic and stuff. But, um, you know, our defense, we got a bunch of blue-collar guys who like to hit people in the mouth. And, and um, you know, I kind of love that. So. Do you feel like your defense is designed for, you know, high-powered offenses in a way? Or... Um, yeah, I, I think I think it's a lot different um, than a lot of defenses in the country that you know those high-powered offenses face because you know there's a lot of a lot of man coverage and stuff uh, with a lot of these defenses nowadays and you know we play you know a lot of zone and stuff just make people earn it so um, it, it is a little bit different and, and we make them work for it so. You're favored by 29. Is that motivation for you? Uh, we don't really look at that. You know we're we're gonna go out and, and play football and whatever the score is, whatever the score is. Um, so we're just going to give our all and, and uh, fly around. Is it motivating to play a team like this? I mean, ranked as high as they are and you know, considered a possible national championship type team? Yeah, it's an exciting opportunity for us and uh, to you know, go against the best. Um, you know, you really got to step up and, and play your best. So uh, I think it's going to be a fun opportunity. What about quarterback, C.J. Stroud? What does he do well? Um, you know, he, he they, they put him in, oper or in in situations where he can make, um, you know, the easy throw and can make the uh, throws that he, he wants to, to make. So um, he fits well in their scheme, and, um, you know, we just got to put some pressure on him and, and kind of make him run around. So, Is that the key defensively, not just specifically to you, but defensively to try to get some sort of pressure on him because otherwise with those athletes you can't cover eight seconds out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, if you don't get any pressure on the quarterback, then it turns into kind of like recess football where people are running around and stuff and scrambling. So, um, yeah, got to get some pressure on the quarterback. What do you think is going to happen with the slot? Um, Jackson, uh, Smith, and Jed, uh, and he hasn't played much this year, but the last real game he played was the Rose Bowl, and he had 300 yards receiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you expect him to play, or are you preparing for him to play? I guess? Um, we're, we're always um, expecting the guys to play. Um, you know, if they play or they don't, it um, doesn't really matter. So uh, I, I think we're, we're prepared for anything that they got for us. So. What, what sort of stands out from the Ohio State wide receivers in general, maybe compared to some other teams that you faced this year? Yeah, you know, they're long, um, athletic. Um, you know, they run their routes very crisp and stuff. So, um, you know, that's that's something that sets them aside. And I think also just the way they fit in the offensive scheme for Ohio State um, is also another thing, too. How important is it going to be eye discipline this game? Because they like to do their double moves and mm -hmm. maybe you aren't. Or are you going to be as risky as maybe you would be against some other teams, or how are you kind of approaching this? Yeah, you know, it's just, uh, you know, staying on top and, like you said, like good eye discipline. And, and um, you know, if they, they hit a hitch, they hit a hitch. Um, but, you know, the deep ball is kind of what we're trying to eliminate. So. Do you think you had a touchdown in Illinois? I mean, what was yeah, that? I mean, yeah, yeah. The, the thing was, you know, it was irritating. We get the points. It was more irritating. I'd run all that way, and then we had to come back out because it didn't count. So, um, yeah, it kind of sucked, but, you know. Is what it is. Showed off your speed, at least. Yeah, you I felt mean, like you had the wheels going there. Yeah, I was kind of nervous. I don't know if someone was behind me and we got hocked down, so I was screaming down there. So, do you think like the last 15 yards, man? I'm gonna be defensive player of the week. I had a fumble at the five. <laughs> yeah, I was hyped. I was like, holy cow, let's go! And then it got turned. I was like, dang. Yeah. How would you grade how you played so far this year? And you came back, obviously, to make a statement. Yeah. Um. You know. I think I think decent. Um, you know, I I can always play better. I think in my eyes, and and that's something that Coach Parker's kind of instilled in me and instilled in the DBs is, um, you know, you're always trying to chase perfection and you're never gonna get it. So, um, can always get better. Um, but, you know, I think I, I've I've played decent. I just you know need to make some plays here and there, and um, you know we have six more weeks to get better. So.